Alright, hey guys, uh, welcome back to another video. Uh, so today Aiden and I are down at Grange Beach. It's a lovely day for it, nice and hot, nice and clear. Um, we weren't expecting much because the water's so clear, but we've actually we've been here for about half an hour. We got three legal salmon. Uh, they're picking up, they're, they're up, they're around. Um, so we're gonna get in, see what we can do. Stay tuned. So today, guys, we started off using um, just the normal Panna Costa rigs, but they weren't biting on it because the water's so clear, they can see everything so well. So then we changed to the jig head thinking it would look more realistic, and that's where we got our three legal salmon from. So hopefully we get a few more. As you see, guys, there's heaps of fish down there just surrounding the bait. We're waiting for one of them to take it, and then we let it have it in its mouth for a bit, then we set the hook with the jig heads. That's how we fish with the jig heads. Hi, guys. So, um... It's been about 40 minutes since the last update. Um, we've got one more legal one, so now that's four. They're all about the same size, 23 um, to 26. Um, we just put up this little one, of course. Um, people mix these up for Tommies. Um, I'll show you a little picture here, the differences. Um, uh, Tommies have a smaller head, salmon have the longer head. Um, Tommies have a bigger eye. Um, salmon have these yellow fins, while Tommies have the black ones. As you see the hint of yellow in the tail. And Tommy's are also um, scalier, which means if you go with like this to a salmon, you won't feel the scales, you'll feel the um, sliminess, but Tommy's are not as much. And we'll just watch this guy go, because he'll go straight away. Tuck him down and you'll see him straight up there. Just like that, straight up. Alright guys, so today we have a guest on the channel who's been here a few times, um, Lucas. Yeah, what's up? We are still going, just little ones around now. There's a couple big ones in the schools, but most of the schools, just little ones. But hopefully we get a couple nice legal ones after. Alright guys, so um, I'm just going to cast this little soft plastic out there. It's a bit broken, but the only one I had. Um, as you see, they're not hitting it, of course, because it's way too clear and they're being real finicky. But you see them following it and they have a look at it. There's quite a few out there. You see them just coming up right behind it. Look at them all. Some of them are not bad size, but most of them are not legal. But there's a couple down there that look decent, especially now all the small ones have gone away. Hey guys, so Aiden's, uh, Aiden's going to jump in today for us. It's a lovely day for it. We've checked deep enough for jumping. Um, so we'll, we'll see how it goes. So that's the end of uh, today's video. Ended up being about three hours down here. Um, did better than we expected. Four, four legal. Um, all pretty big, between 23 and 26 centimeters. Um, lovely day for a lovely day for a swim. Uh, probably ended up with a dozen or so small ones as well. But good, good stuff. And when we get home, we're gonna uh, fill these ones up and cook them. So we'll show you show you what that looks like. We'll try our best. But thanks for thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed the fishing today. And stay tuned. Alright guys, so we're back at the house now, just about to fill it with them. Um and we just saw this. It actually has a shark bite in it. It's it's pretty fresh. But yeah, just interesting. Yep. Alright guys, so first what, what we're gonna do is gonna scale them. So you hold the tail just like that and just go like that and get all the scales off. You need a good sharp knife for filleting usually. That's how we're going to cook these. You could also um, smoke these salmon. Um, but then you don't need to uh, fillet them, but we're deciding to fillet them. So you do this both sides, get all the scales off. Just like that. Right, stop recording. You're good. Just like that. Alright. Hey guys, so Sunny here. Um, we're going to do a little bit of a catch and cook. So this is just a, one of the salmon we caught. We scaled it, so you basically just take the scales off and now we're just going to fill it up. Now basically what you want to do is cut it right in line with that fin right next to it. Slice down to about halfway so about the, to about the spine. It's a bit it's messy work but these salmon are very uh, bloody fish. So then there you go. You go along the spine. And then you want to cut uh, horizontally basically right along the spine. 
You want to feel the spine right up against the... All the way down yeah. to the tail, like this, and then you basically flop it. That's, and that's you feel it right there. That's a nice... We'll wash it out, of it's course, because it's pretty bloody. bloody. Um, obviously, there might be a few bones, but that's a nice one. The um, bones on these smaller fish, the ribcage bones, you can eat them. Like, you barely notice them. So you get, you get but, a bit of yeah, bone. They're not that bad because yeah. they're so small, but as long as the spine's not in there, you're fine. And that is not a bad fillet at all. Well, it'll look a bit better when you rinse it out, but there you go. All right, guys, so we have um, all eight of our fillets here, of course. Um, so what we do first, you put it in flour. You put the fillet in flour, so we like that. And then you put them in the egg. That's um, whisked together. I have two eggs in here, that's, that should be enough. Then you put that in the breadcrumbs. Just like that. Um, you could, you could, that could be done. That could easily be done. But I like doing the double, um, double breadcrumb. So you put it back in the egg and then back again in the breadcrumb. And like that, that's done. That's a, that's ready to be cooked. Guys, so basically uh, cooking these ones, put a bit of sunflower, vegetable, like whatever oil you want in it. Um, Aiden's already gone through the crumbing process. And then basically you just kind of, you know, just shallow fry them. them over, fry them. Whatever, however cooked you want them. Um, I like them a bit crunchy, so we we'll just. And these are around. the these are the finished products right here. Perfect, nice Australian salmon trout. But hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully, you learned something and enjoy.